Hey guys, Mega Man Minecraft here. Today we're going to be checking out a one command block creation uh, by the username IJA Minecraft. There's a link to his website in my description as well as an individual link to this uh, individual command. So basically, you just give yourself a command block and you paste in this command. Now, this specific command is for uh, the magic eggs, which I think is a fairly newer one that he's done. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think that it came out, uh, I think, this month or last month, uh, August or July of 2015, if you're watching this at a later time. So yeah, basically you just get a command block and you paste in the command. Uh, look how long this command is. This is just, that's not even the whole thing. You can tell because of, whatever. Um, so yeah, we're going to activate this command block and we're going to see what happens. So you get Magical Eggs by AJ Minecraft. There's a link to his YouTube, which will also be in my video's description. Um, and the terms of use, which basically means just give him credit if you're going to show this off in a video. Okay, so you're going to right click the sign to get your items. And I'm going to fly away from this machine. Fly away forever. Fly away forever. I don't know. Okay, this should be good. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to spawn a villager with this egg and give him a cookie because he's a nice guy. And then he'll realize that you're also a nice guy and he'll love you as well. Right? Right. Okay. So now you'll notice that he has a bunch of trades. Um, give him an egg and four gas tears and he'll give you a powerless, oh, an egg and one gas tier actually, sorry. Uh, he'll give you this powerless magical egg. So that's basically the base of what you need. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab a bunch of eggs and a bunch of gas tiers. And I am just going to give him these. Now I think there's four different eggs, so we'll just make four of these. Okay. Um, so the first egg that we're going to get is a end essence. So you're going to give him 45 uh, end stone and five ender pearls. So let's get that all squared away. Uh, end stones right here. I'm gonna give him 45 and five. We'll get one of those. And I think the next one is prismarine or something like that. So you need three dark prismarine and two light prism regular prismarine. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so three dark, two light. You're just going to give him that, and you'll get that essence. And uh, did we miss one? No, we didn't. Okay. Uh, the next one, I think, is the growth essence. Yes. Okay, so 20 dirt, 5 uh, oak saplings. Now we'll just do this. I should have did this before the video, but I was too excited. Okay. So 20 dirt, 5 saplings, get a growth uh, growth essence. And the next one that we need is a water bucket and a clock to get a flow essence. Water bucket, uh, I think it would be in tools, yeah, and a clock. So bam, 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 there you go, there you go. So we have all of our essences now. Now I am going to fly away from the villager. So long, farewell. To you, my friend. Okay. So, you take a powerless magical egg, right? What do you think you do with it? You think you right click? Nope. You throw it. And bam. You get this nice little fireworks animation. Uh, the egg is lighting up all different colors. Well, not really, but particle effects. <clears throat> um, and what you do is you take any one of these essences and you throw it right on top of that. Now we'll just watch this animation take place. Look at that. And then you get the end egg. So we're going to do this with all three of them now. Bam. 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 And we're going to get Prismarine, Growth, and Flow. Let's just watch this take place. Look at that. That's just amazing. It's crazy to see how far this game has become since I started playing it. Okay, so, the flow egg, I believe, is, it makes you, um, pretty much like a juggernaut. Uh, if I, 
I think if uh, I got some zombies here, let me um, grab a sword as well. And if I go into game mode, I'm going to get a bunch of these zombies, actually. If I go into game mode zero, if I spawn a bunch of these zombies, they're all going to start dying anyway. But anyway, if I spawn a bunch of them, you can see how slow they're walking towards me. They don't really do a lot of damage either. I think they take like half a heart. So it basically just gives me time. But I, I want to test because it showed off that it works with um, zombies. But does it work with like creepers as well? I'll stay in creative mode just for the... Um, actually, no, I should go into game mode. Zero survival mode since they're not going to chase me. I can't type. What am I doing? Wow, I really can't type today. Okay, so they're all going to come after me. Yeah, they all move very, very slow, too. What happens if I take damage from an explosion? Alright, yeah, so if you take damage from a creeper explosion, it seems that you um still take regular damage for it. But uh, that's okay. This command's still really cool. Um, yeah, so the next one we have is the end egg. And this one, I believe... Uh, you want to stay away from anything that you love. Um, I think it starts shooting down fireballs in the sky, spawns endermen, uh, spawns endstone. But let's uh, let's give it a, let's give it a look. Okay. Oh, lag. Lots and lots of lag. What I'm gonna do here is attempt to fly up, so we can see if we can uh, get a better view of what's happening here. Yeah, look at this. Just spawning Endermen everywhere. Um, yeah, it looks like it's done now. So uh, let me just kill these Endermen, just in case um, they decide to be annoying. Alright, they're all dead. Wow. Okay, so that's pretty... Yeah, <laughs> you can still see the water particle effect going on. Killed End. Not even Endermen, it's just an End. Okay. So I'm going to need a couple things for this uh, demonstration here. If I just take some wood, make sure, make sure it all uh, connects here. And we'll get some uh, dirt, and I think we need a hoe as well. And some seeds. Sorry guys, I'm a little unprepared, but I was just too excited to make this video. Too, too excited. So we're just going to make a little farm type thing, whatever. Does not need to be anything fancy. Okay, so then we're just going to till all this dirt here. I wish that water thing would go away right now, but it doesn't seem like it feels like it. So then I'm just going to, eh, need some water, doesn't it? Ah, poop. Uh, what I'll do is I'll skip ahead until when I make the water. Oh, why'd I do that? Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, so something like this will do. Uh, it's probably the best farm you've ever seen. Okay, so let me just go back. We'll get some uh, seeds. And we're going to plant them down. And I'm also going to grab a flint and steel as well. And you'll see why in a second. So let me just grab that here. Okay. So, with the growth egg, if I just uh, use it here, you can see it starts growing these crops. Like, there's no tomorrow. Look how fast that did it. It'll grow anything in the world. That's not the only thing it does. It also uh, spreads fire. So if I light this on fire a little bit here, and I use the growth egg, you're going to notice that the fire ticks a lot faster than it would in normal Minecraft. Uh, yeah. And we're left with one wooden plank. So not too shabby. Let's just see the... Uh, I want to see the growth effect again. Oh, well. Alright, one more time. Okay, I don't have seeds. Alright, screw it. <laughs> Alright, uh... And last but not least, my uh, personal favorite. Now, this isn't going to be too effective in this super flat uh, sandstone world. 
But um, basically, the prison marine egg does this. You get a guardian, and he starts flying up anything that he hits. To so it's basically just a go all the way until he hits bedrock or lava. I don't think he goes through lava. Um, so yeah, obviously this would be a lot more effective in a regular um, survival world. But in a super flat, you know, you're not going to get too, too much. Oh, I got some cobblestone from it too. But yeah, so if you use this in a regular world, you'll start, you know, getting things like, um, what do you call it? You know, diamonds and redstone. Anything you can really think of. You can just see how fast he went. Like, I'm just trying to mine here. And I... Oh, nope, 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 nope. And nope. Okay. So, let me just fly back up here. And I think that's pretty much the end of this uh, video. Alright guys, well if you enjoyed watching, please be sure to like, comment, or subscribe. Um, like I said in my previous video where I completely failed the Minecraft speedrun, which you can uh, check out on my channel. Um, I'm trying to make videos a lot more regularly. Um, I haven't really been making them a lot since uh, school and work and fun stuff like that. So if um, I don't make videos as regularly, I'm sorry, but I'm going to shoot for the best I can. Um, I'm still going to make videos regardless. I just don't know how consistently the content's going to come out. But uh, yeah, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, rate, or uh, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.